What color are you, then? All right. What color are Ranger? Group one. Group one, we have transportation and retreat. We're thinking about re redeveloping uh, into high rises and stuff like that away from the coast a little bit. Each of these themes are going to have different values associated with them and implications for how you might um, message this or who is going to agree with you and that's something This that studio is the junior regional design studio. Um, so all the students are in their uh, third year at here at Rutgers, their second year in this department and it's really the first time that they're tackling um, a landscape that's really beyond the scale of a site. So when we talk about the region and landscape, it can mean a lot of different things. For this class, we've chosen to focus um, on, a, on a county as a region, um, the region being a collection of municipalities who are really facing some common, uh, common issues as they try to think about resiliency. So forward. for Thursday, a synthesized diagram that you guys have had some, you know, have, you'll have more than 15 minutes to talk about what you're doing, right? Um, and then it, each indi individually for your idea sheet, submit it in the idea sheet, just um, one diagram that talks about what you're doing. And you can write some notes on that if, um, just to explain. It might be better, honestly, instead of having like uh, three boards, uh, like a regular board and then a long board. Yeah, that's true. That might that's be true. That's better. Which ones would you, are you saying like the first one would be a regular board? Yeah, and then and the second and three would be combined into just one longer board. Because then if we start talking about like all of these different coastal defense options, we could have like along the bottom or something like that on the first board, like the their existing options, and then on the second board, like. All, all of the different ones that we would be proposing. So what does it mean to go to the Jersey Shore? Um, that was one of the first questions that we asked ourselves when we began working together as a group. And what we realized was that there are a lot of different shore identities and we can't just categorize everything as one great Jersey Shore. Um, so what we did to understand... Unlike some of the other studios, we look at things in a broader scale. Um, most of the projects are done in a group format, usually like a, maybe two to four students, depending on what we're looking at. Uh, we, we look at more, a more broad scale, so we're not looking at maybe like a, a park per se. We think of regions as like interactive systems. So the, this is no, I, the I, level I, of yeah. no, the town, so we don't want to raise the town. It makes sense, like space-wise, uh, especially. But, um, I know what you're saying. Like, what happens to the other side? I'm just, I'm when just I started that designing well, if we can ensure that for my project for Studio, um, knowing that it was a real life issue, and like having friends that dealt with things that happened in real life, um, made me realize that I had to be very sensitive in the fact that it's not just play and it's not just imagination. Like, this is a real life thing. Yeah. And what you put on paper could be affecting someone's house, someone's home, someone's livelihood. So I think you have to think bigger than just this building. And like what happens here in school? I don't know. It was a lot different than other past projects that we've done in that sense. Think about because um, we're going to put them more inland, right? Yeah. So well, instead of like, I feel like you, if you're moving that many people, you can't really maintain a single family like suburban well, certain development could. Yeah, we kind of put it all on each one. Good afternoon. I'm Sandy, and along with my teammates Danny, Grace, and Tom, we um, we came up with a proposal to make Monmouth County working with a real life problem, set limitations and boundaries <laughs> that I think otherwise we probably would not have focused on. I know for our project we had to consider um, economic and political influences, which last year we did not have to. We didn't really consider within our design work. So, And it also it just sets forth a program and influences you. I don't know, it forces you to think more also about who you're designing for. I am trying to create a section uh, perspective view of how our design hypothesis is going to look like based on this map right here. Oh wait, this one actually. 
for the city of Belmar, and it's going to... Um, the basic skill sets we develop as landscape architects is really understanding the landscape at this scale, that you know, landscape doesn't obey the, the lot lines on a particular site or even the, you know, the boundaries of a municipality. Um, and, and at the site scale, students start to learn this as we look, about con look at context, and we know that water can flow onto our site from others. But at the regional scale, um, you, things like watersheds um, and, um, and even urban infrastructure, like transportation networks, really affect broad areas of land and we need to think about how all these systems interact and interrelate in order to effectively plan at the regional scale and effectively design at the regional scale. So it's a big arc um, of what we're doing. I think the other thing that um, is really important is Hurricane Sandy has been uh, uh, devastating for New Jersey. It's also um, something that's very present in people's mind. It's an opportunity for students to see how their skill set can really be applied to something very current um, and, and that they're learning skills in landscape that might help solve problems of coastal defense and restoration um, and that there are so many different factors in terms of in, that go into what um, makes a, a community, a human community or a ecosystem work or not work and that these are complex interrelated um, systems and that only when we really start to think about all of them together can we really uh, can we really craft and plan um, for the, the future we envision or want. Going down the shore is a very like New Jersey typical touristy experience but there are also people that live there. So what we did to understand the Jersey Shore was we made a flow chart that categorized portions of the shore. I think that the regional planning studio really emphasizes the importance of context because it, it's almost like you're looking at everything as context and you're not honing in on one site in particular. Like you might look at one site and use that as a typical scenario where you can make a design for that area and then apply that to a wide variety of areas. So what you're designing has to be very flexible. I know that, like, for personally, I used uh, Google Street View a lot to go up, uh, up and down the coastline a couple times and look at all of the structure that was there. So um, I don't think that I would ever do that in a, a very site-specific scenario. But in the regional view, you have to look at how all types of things connect to each other. So you really have to get yourself out and look at the big picture and then try to zoom in and keep going in and out. When we push back, how does the power work with that? And then we push back, how do we develop that? I really liked how we were able to work in groups and think collaboratively that way. Um, in sophomore studio, we kind of just did our own thing. You asked other people for their opinions, but you don't know if they're telling you the truth or not. <laughs> um, but I think Working with someone else and learning how to compromise with other people, I think that's a great skill that I'm going to need in the future. Um, because you never know what kind of people you're going to be with and who you're going to meet and who you have to work with. So being able to work with all different kinds of people on such a big project, I think, is a good skill. And that was my favorite part, learning all about my classmates and how to deal with that. It was a challenge, but... <laughs> getting through it. <laughs> you guys can meet for 15 minutes, but just so that you've all um, reflected a little bit on the feedback you got, uh, because Thursday we'll talk about the next steps.